Hey, welcome in shooters. Much love to the hoopers. We got a question about does it make a difference whether after you release the ball you focus on the hoop or you focus on the ball? What are the physical advantages and disadvantages and what are the learning advantages and disadvantages? So this is a good question um, and it, I would say it doesn't matter that much but attention to details are important any edge we can get, right? If we can move our three-pointer from 40% to 42%, it's worth investigating. And this is one of those really minor things that can have an effect. So, first of all, what the pros do, most of the pros who have been interviewed follow the ball. They look at the ball and then watch it go through the hoop. However, there's a few who fix on the hoop. One of them is John Stockton. This is something that he hasn't publicly said, but it's known in private, and that's something that he's taught, is to look at the hoop. So, you can go either way, as far as the pros go. And the reason why you can go either way is from a purely physical perspective, it doesn't matter at all. It has no effect. Once the ball is out of your hand, it's out of your hand. There's nothing you can do. You could turn around and look at the hoop, look at the bench like Steph Curry does, and it doesn't affect the shot, right? Steph Curry does that. He shoots. He doesn't even follow the ball. He looks at the bench and then runs back on defense, right? Because it doesn't matter. It has no difference on this shot. However, it might make a difference in the next shot and the next shot in terms of learning. So, for instance, if you shoot the ball and you fix on the hoop, you don't really, I mean, subconsciously and with your peripheral, you get to see the path of the ball, but you pretty much just count down one, three, two, one, swoosh, right? However, if you fix on the ball, you don't get as necessarily as good a sense of the timing, but you get to see how the ball moves, and also importantly, you get to see the spin of the ball. If you focus on the hoop, you don't necessarily get to see the spin as well. So, you may get better feedback from watching the ball because you will get to see alright it spins, okay, it's, it follows this trajectory. So you might learn a little bit faster from following the ball. On the other hand, yeah, on the other hand it doesn't matter, right, like Steph Curry. So, yeah, that's what it is. You might, you may learn faster following the ball, and that's what the majority of the pros do, but again, it doesn't matter that much. So, that's the bottom line, is Either way, either way works, so, um, but if you had to pick one, you'll probably learn faster from, as soon as you release, watch how the spin goes, and then if the spin's fucked up, try again, right, so, hope that helps, let me know what else you want to hear questions about.